Good morning, y'all. Happy Wednesday. I am 23 weeks today. I'm officially in month six, so I'm excited. I look a mess. It's okay. Um, I came on here to tell you guys briefly because I don't want a whole discussion and I don't want trolls in my comment box because... I think I'm reaching that point where I'm probably going to respond to you instead of just delete your comment. If you haven't noticed, that's what I've been doing. Just deleting people's rude comments. But I came on here to just briefly tell you that yesterday was a, a bit emotional and very tough for me because <clears throat> I have two doctor's appointments tomorrow. They have to finish my anatomy scan. So I have an um, ultrasound appointment. And then right after that, I have my, you know, my regular routine monthly um, doctor's office appointment with my um ob right after that and so they usually email me and also text me to confirm my appointment so i took a nap yesterday i woke up to the email i confirmed it and then on the confirmation email that i received you know two seconds later it said that basically you had to come to your appointments alone you cannot bring any visitors which i don't consider the other parent of the child a visitor but that if you had to bring your kids that's okay you just have to keep up with you now kids be the main ones all over the place in the waiting room all close home people all that stuff the other parent to a child is normally a hundred out of a hundred times going to sit right next to the mom or the person who's pregnant it's not going to be all over people. It's not going to be bothering people. It's not going to be running around. It's not going to be spreading germs. And kids are like germ keepers. So if you're going to make an accommodation for kids to be present, I just don't understand how the other parent is not welcomed. So I called and I said, when you say visitors, are you saying the other parent is a visitor? And she said, if you're not the patient, you're a visitor. And I said, so the kids that you're allowing, they're considered visitors? And she said, yes. And then she got quiet. So I said, okay, so what accommodations are going to be made for the other parent who has to now miss out on the experience? Like, obviously, if this was a regular doctor's appointment, maybe it wouldn't affect me so much. But this is an ultrasound appointment. Um, and like, what? So, and I could even understand if they were checking at the door, everybody's temperature or whatever, like, fine, do that. But to say, we're going to make this accommodation for these people, but then we're not going to accommodate the other parent, like the other parent, like, huh? So I said, will I be able to FaceTime? And she's like, oh, well, that's up to the individual provider. But so you have to ask permission, but you won't be able to do that until they come into your room during your appointment. And also, there's no FaceTime in the ultrasound suite, obviously, because of the machines. Y'all, I lost it. I lost it. Um, Ronnie has not missed any appointments. He looks forward to coming. I look forward to him coming because I'm not by myself. Like, I don't know. You know, of course, you, you pray and, and you want things to go well. But the real, reality of the situation is sometimes that doesn't happen. And it's enough running through a pregnant person's mind especially someone who's been pregnant for the who's pregnant for the first time and doesn't really know what to expect out of the entire process there's so many things that you think could go wrong that you worry about and the thought of having to process and hear that by yourself is totally like too much for me to handle right now um so of course I had to break the news to him and I think he he was let down I think he kind of expected it because a few days before he he asked me if they had said anything about restricting people and I told him no because I hadn't heard anything um but I think he was like kind of like well I know he was like let down about it and he's not happy about it but I think him seeing my reaction like he kind of pulled it together more so for me and so um it was just like a really awkward conversation it's really quiet and then he was just like oh well um let me how about I make dinner like will that cheer you up or whatever so he ended up cooking dinner um which I showed a clip of it was the steak and cheeses they were actually really really good it doesn't change the situation but it did make me feel like okay well at least he is concerned and at least he is you know trying to 
not allow this to um, negatively affect me so much. And he decided that, you know, let's just think about the positives and, you know, in the situation or whatever. I cannot log into work. Like, this is my fifth time trying to get into the system. Um, so, yeah, that was yesterday. I'm still processing. The doctor's appointments are tomorrow morning. I think he may still drive me there, but they said that basically he has to stay in the car. So, that's what's going on right now. Um, that's an update. And if you are fixing your fingers to type anything other than basically nothing, then just don't do it. Because I don't want to hear, oh, well, you need to be grateful that they're taking these measures. First of all, no one said that I didn't understand why they were taking them. And most of the people who come sideways in the comment section, one, have probably already had their kids and didn't have to go through the experience alone. Or if you did, it's part of your own fault. And second of all, also people who have never been through the process before and you don't know what the hell you're talking about. So please refrain from writing anything crazy in my comment section because I'm reaching that point where <laughs> I'm saying something back to you. Like, this is my channel. This is my journey. I can comment the way I want. My feelings are valid. And if you don't like them, go to the next channel. Anywho, um, I was supposed to, supposed to, um, <sighs> y'all, I'm tired. I was supposed to make an um, omelet today because we had some fresh peppers and onions left over from the, from the, um, steak and cheeses but I ended up eating a pop tart a strawberry iced pop tart for breakfast yeah um I was deba debating on whether I want to take a picture or not today even though I took one three weeks ago <laughs> for my six month this I'm officially in six month month six which is huge um I called to get an update on the dresser and they weren't able to speak to me but they did email me late last night and said that they um, really don't have a status update um, to send me, like tracking information. But they called the freight company and the freight company said it's actually there and is ready to be scheduled for delivery. So they should be calling me between 24 and 48 hours. That's what they told me. So hopefully I will hear from them today. We shall see. And hopefully I can get baby girls um dresser here by like friday or saturday we'll see i don't know i need to do something with my hair i took the longest shower yesterday it felt so good oh my goodness i'm running out of t-shirts to um wear because they're getting too small this is my um gender reveal t-shirt i actually thought it was ronnie's because i got it out of his dresser but he somehow had mine in there um and it's already a tight fit so I went to his dresser after I got out the shower because I was like, I need a big t-shirt to sleep in. Um, but I did wash like a load of clothes yesterday. So I have clean clothes. I just didn't want to come all the way downstairs late last night and get it. So yeah, I definitely am picking up some weight. I had I checked my app this morning or my app sent me like a update for 23 weeks. And it said that in the coming weeks, I'll notice like swelling in my feet, my ankles. And I'm not looking forward to that at all. Um, but anyway... I'm about to upload a vlog for you guys, I think, too. I think I'm going to upload a vlog. I don't know what's in this vlog, but I'll upload it anyway. And then I also need to record a shoe video for you guys, shoe haul video. I still need to take off the nails off this hand. I've been dreading doing it because it hurts so much on the other hand. Um, but I need to. If, that, if you hear noise, Ronnie's playing his PlayStation game. It's very loud. Anywho, I'm about to see if I can get on this system for work. And I will talk to you guys later. Bye. Hey, y'all. Happy Wednesday. It is still Wednesday. <laughs> it is 6.42. I just got off of work. And I'm about to make some teriyaki luau. I'm sorry. Teriyaki pork luau bowls with kiwi salsa and lime crema sauce. So I think I'm gonna leave the kiwis out of my portion, but Ronnie said he wants to try it in his. I'm not a big fan of fruit in my cooked food. Like I don't like warm pineapple, it's not my juice. I don't like pineapple on pizza, no thank you. So I think I'm gonna leave that off of mine, but I'm gonna put it in his. Um, 
everything else looks really good. So I'm gonna get started. It says 15 minutes to prep because I have to cut up so much stuff as you can see. Um, and then uh, 35 minutes to cook. So yeah, and it has ground pork in it. So let me get the ingredients in the bag out of the fridge. You guys, look at the fridge. It has four bags down there left. So we've been actually doing really good with keeping up with the, um, I wanna say this is it, ground pork. Uh, with keeping up with the Hello Fresh meals, I did suspend it uh, because we had so much food. Um, because we got like two bags in a row, basically. So, here's the bag, as you can see. And I'm about to cook some dinner and probably catch up on some YouTube videos. And I will show you guys once it's finished. To lose. Hey guys, so here is my prep. This is trash right here, the inside of the tomato, but green pepper, diced red, um, red onion, sliced red onion, diced tomato, diced kiwi, and um, a qu I quartered the lime. I don't have a zester, so I can't zest it, um, like I said too, as well, but oh well, and then this is trash. So yeah, finished. this is the teriyaki pork luau bowls with kiwi salsa and lime crema. So this is his. I didn't put the kiwi in mine because like I said, I'm not a big fan of it. And then you're supposed to be able to serve it with the lime on the side, but I probably won't use it. So I just put it in his, but yeah, it didn't take too long. It's like I said, it's just the prepping of the stuff, but that's expected. Um, and I only made two dishes this time. So he'll be happy about that because <laughs> he always does the dishes when I cook. Um, so yeah, there's a little bit more of the cream sauce. So I'm about to eat this. And um, hopefully I like it, cause yeah, I don't know, we'll see. Dinner is served. <clears throat> Good morning y'all, happy Thursday. Today is April 9th. It's 10.40 and I'm trying to log into the system. I just got back from my doctor's appointment and everything went well. They finished the anatomy scan. They got the scans they wanted. Um, and her heartbeat is good. They said she moves around a lot or whatever. And then when I go back in four weeks, that's my last time I'll be going every four weeks, I have to take my glucose test. And um, they're gonna check my cervix, they said, but everything is good. Um, going by myself was an experience, it was kind of weird. I kind of felt like I was like, kind of just there going through the motions instead of that actually experiencing the experience. But it is what it is. I got some more pictures today um, just of the stuff that they needed that they couldn't get the last time. Excuse me. And then that was it. I'm eating a Hot Pocket. I just took my prenatal vitamin <clears throat> and some crayon ap apple juice. Excuse me, some crayon apple juice. And yeah, that's it. Not much on the agenda today just working and that's it i don't think i'm gonna cook today we may have like a digiorno pizza or something um yeah hopefully i will call this freight company today and go off on them because I have not heard from them. I don't know where my stuff is. But other than that, that's about it. So, I guess I'll talk to y'all later whenever I get into the system. Yesterday it took me two hours. Hopefully today it won't. But, I'll talk to you later. Toodles. Oh yeah, I took the rest of my nails off except for this little piece right here. Because it's like, I've never had a full set that was on this hard and this one i broke my nail all the way in the center it's like really really bad oh it let me in the system it's like really really bad it hurts it's really really sore so i got some nail spawn from cvs on the way home and i already have some band-aids but it hurts so 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 bad like there's like a strip of nail missing in the middle so it's like my skin is exposed uh, this supposed to be underneath my nail it hurts so bad um yeah 
But anyway, talk to you later. Deuces. Hey y'all, it's still Thursday. It is 5.03. I'm still working. I probably get off around 6, 6.30. But I wanted to come in with some updates for you guys. So the freight company finally called me. I actually forgot to call them today. So they finally called me and they said that they have a delivery slot opening for Saturday, which is the 11th. So I said, okay, they're going to either call me back this afternoon or tomorrow with the delivery time, but I'll be in the house all day. Ronnie does have to go to work on Saturday, so they'll just leave it in the um, foyer, foyer area anyway, which is as far as they were coming with it because it was threshold delivery. And then I'll have to get my brother to come over and help him get it up the stairs. And then I was on Instagram, shout out to Instagram, y'all know, Instagram. And don't mind me, I have on a sports bra um, because I'm hot, but it is what it is whatever um so i was on instagram and they have you know how the companies advertise i had seen this company before um and i was looking into it but it was something that i could just put off and put off um was the baby girl's name sign for above her crib the wooden name sign that i wanted to get um i, I usually just order from etsy and this place does have an etsy shop as well but they were advertising on um instagram for 50 percent off the entire shop okay and you know the size I usually get like 36 inches which is usually like a hundred and forty dollars hundred and fifty dollars so it's already on sale for 69.99 plus they painted two coats of gold for me which usually the painting costs way more than 150 so it was it's painting gold it's 36 inches it's made out of wood not MDF board and it was on sale for $69.99. Then a pop-up came up and said, hey, give us your email. We'll give you an instant 20% off coupon. I was like, there's no way this is going to work on top of the 50%. Y'all. Took off another $13.99. Um, and it was free shipping. <laughs> so I paid $56 total um, because I paid some tax. Um, and then a pop-up did come up and say, well, usually... At this company, it's called 48 Hour Monogram because your unpainted and um, monograms will ship out in 48 hours under normal circumstances. Obviously, with the COVID-19, they said they're operating at a one to two week um, lag time, which is totally fine. Um, but the painted ones usually take an extra three days, which is still not bad. That's still, you know, a week or whatever. So even if they take a couple weeks, I don't care. I got it for $56, like free shipping. 70% off, like that's crazy. 50% off and then 20% off of that. Like 56, what? So I just took my <laughs> my tape measure upstairs to measure 36 inches. It's good for the amount of space that I left over the crib. And then while I was up there, I went ahead and measured floor to the top of the window to make sure that the curtain panels I wanna order from Pottery Barn Kids whenever I order them. I'm really trying to wait until they open up the store again because I don't wanna pay all that shipping um cost and they don't waive shipping i've already called customer service to try to ask them they said no um so but i do need to call them because my 20 percent off coupon it keeps saying that i used it and i haven't ordered anything from them yet so i do need to call them but i ordered a baby girl's name sign and her dresser is coming on saturday so that's the update i'm really excited because once her dresser comes i can um start doing loads of clothes and wipe down all the drawers with Clorox wipes, you know, and then um, start organizing like her newborn and zero to three month stuff because a lot of that stuff is going to go in the dressers. So in the dresser drawers. So I'm really, really excited about that. And then I can set that up and then hopefully um, Ronnie next week can start spray painting the frames and I can't get the letters that I need to go in the frames on the um, gallery wall until Michael's opens back up. But at least I have the frame. Something told me to get the letters. And I just, I was like, Antoinette, you have plenty of time. Like, you know, you don't need to get the letters now. But I got the frames because they were buy one, get one free. And then I had 20% off my total. So I got those for like 80 bucks for all four of them. And they were originally like 50 bucks each. So I got a deal on those. But I should have gotten all the letters. And I just didn't. So I just have to wait till for Michaels to open back up. Because I need individual letters. And I don't think they sell them online. Um, so I just need to wait until they open back up. Somebody did tell me that Hobby Lobby was open, but that's not really close to me. It's like 40 minutes, 45 minutes away from me. So, and I just rather would go, I, I would rather go to Michael's anyway to get it. Um, so I can wait until they open up, but at least I can put them on the wall and have them spray paint it. Yeah. Um, I was looking for a gold curtain rod. I didn't see one online, so I may have to just get one and spray paint that as well. 
um but i'm not in the rush to do that because first we have to get the blinds from home depot so i may let ronnie do that because he has to go back to home depot to get um some bungee cords or something he said he needed for something in the garage or, i don't know his car or something like that i don't know um so i may tell him to just pick up the blind when he goes um but yeah, and I'm happy that the blinds now don't come with the cord because it was a child choking hazard. So now you just raise the actual blind and pull it down. Um, and we always get the home decorators brand, the white two inch ones. So that's what I'm gonna put in her room as well. Um, what else? Yeah, I'm excited for the dresser to come. I just, let's, let us pray that it is not damaged. Cause y'all know, first of all, as much money as we pay for this dresser, it better be here. In perfect condition and as long as it took them to get it here two weeks like better be here in perfect condition all right perfect condition but anyway i'm grateful for those updates just wanted to share them with you guys and i will i'm happy that i don't have to spray paint the name sign hopefully the two golds won't like clash or whatever but i'm sure it'll be okay and let us pray for michael's let us play for <laughs> pottery barn kids because yeah that's what i need and then the next purchase, I don't know if the next purchase is going to be the stuff from Pottery Barn Kids or the glider. I'll have to see. But I already told Ronnie that we need to get the glider. And I think he knows about the server from Pottery Barn Kids. He knows what it is. Like the lamp, the flush mount chandelier, and then the two curtain panels. I don't think he knows totally yet. So let us pray. Anywho. That was my update, so I'll talk to y'all later. Bye. I'll show y'all the dresser once it comes in, too, but it's the matching dresser, too, to the um, crib. So, 